Hey guys, so this is the millennial conversion and I found this to be really encouraging um, dream. Hope you are encouraged if you're you know, around my age and you've got some millennials or right after the millennial season, um, you know, this might connect with you. So this was November 16th and 17th around one in the morning. Um, and then here's the verses too. Proverbs 22, 6, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Jeremiah 24, 7, I will give them a heart to know that I am God, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. For those of you like me that have some millennials, I have four, and two are not millennials, and two are. And um, a lot of us have kids that were raised in church, but somewhere along the line, um, fitting into the culture became more important. And, um, you know, it's heart wrenching to watch and you're thinking, uh, you've been given all these advantages. You've been raised with the Bible. This is how you get through life. Why are you choosing this? Like, it's just insane, but you have to let them live their life because they're adults and it's their choice. You can't make them want to be, you know, a hundred percent into Christianity. So, um, I was always reminded of this verse. Like when I was a young parent, there was someone that gave a class and they're like, Proverbs says, train up a child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. But nobody says what will happen in the middle. You know, that like teenage, young 20s age. But in the end, they'll return, right? So this dream kind of shows that. And I think it's really interesting. So I saw my two older kids who committed their lives to Christ when they were young. But they drifted off and they were less faithful. They were both taken by the time of the worldwide rapture. So one might be in that um, like obedient faithful and one might not be, but they're both taken, you know, by the rapture, they're gone, okay? Then I was shown two of my um, friend's daughters and I don't personally know them, but they're in this dream and I actually saw them what they looked like when they were young too. And um, it was pretty cool. But in this dream, the both of those children were also saved i don't know how the first what stage of um leaving the first one was but the second one that's where we're focusing the dream focused on that and she was a rebel she so she stays past you know the rapture so she, here we are in tribulation early tribulation time so this is the dream and i think it really reveals a lot of interesting things so I saw a large group of people outside and the whole world was watching some major event and they were all looking up into the sky. And there was some story being played out in the sky and it was kind of like Disney-esque and really well done and it and co covered the entire sky. I don't even know how. The event was also being broadcast on every television, but the dream I was watching was focused on these young adults who were outside looking up. Now, in front of the eyes of these kids who were once committed Christians, the Lord presented a vision in front of their eyes, completely blocking the story that everyone else was watching in the sky and being mesmerized by. The vision instantly changed them and their hearts were back in line for Christ and it restored the relationship to him. The vision happened at the same time, a jar in heaven was open and the jar is called abiding in Christ. It was open and it caused their heart to change to be immediate. In the dream, as soon as their heart changes, they went back to being the size and appearance of the age they were when they first fully believed. Their innocence restored like a childlike joy returned to their face and their eyes. Their bodies were healed of any ailments and they had a new passion to get to heaven and see Christ. And I don't think they stayed in that physical state of looking like a child. It's just representative of, it's taking them back to that like point, okay? Because later we'll see they do selfies. So at the same time, their heart changed and they were immediately released from all oppressive demons that fled quickly from them and went into other people nearby that were not having this experience. And the demons were bound away from them forevermore. Then, um, when they changed, they were filled with faith and spiritually whole. But they still had all of their current past life experiences to draw from for wisdom. 
and they knew that they had what they had been through and they could feel the difference of being released from it because they were within the reality of now and all of them picked up their phones and they took selfies and they posted it to whatever their preferred social media was so TikTok, instagram facebook whatever and their friends were all amazed at this change that they could see because they were thinner they were more innocent in their face they had they were joyful their eyes looked different everything was different about them they just looked better you know like a young happy version of themselves so seeing this change had a profound impact on so many of their friends that many of them converted to christianity as a result these newly restored people became a force sharing Christ and leading the safe houses for they had the roots and the understanding of the Bible from childhood. So they had the skills to lead because they were part of the culture for so long. They knew exactly what to say, how to say it and when to say it to the other people around their ages to testify to the truth and to help the others learn of Jesus. Um, they also were drawn to Bibles like magnets and they read them and memorized them for fear of not having them. Then I heard what is still somewhat of a mystery. And if you have clues, you know, write them down, whatever. Um, they are born December 9th, 1923. Clearly this is not their real birthday. Could it be December 9th, 2023? Maybe, but I asked and I got 1923 again. So I looked up Strong's 1923 and it's the Hebrew is Radar, which is an honor, majesty, and those to be honored ones. Maybe it's because they're the ones that come out of the great trib. Um, I looked up the Greek 1923 um, epigraphe, an inscription of black letters written on a white tablet. Could it mean December 9th is the date they get their names written in the book of life? Uh, December 9th, 1923 was 98 years ago on a Sunday. It was in the pagan season of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is another name for the Antichrist. Um, that generation was considered to be the greatest generation. Could something have happened on that day ages ago that set all the wheels in motion to allow for all of this rebellion that we've seen in our generation? Maybe. I don't know 100% on that birth date information. I have prayed about it, but I just am not getting an answer. Um, so I found the entire dream though, super encouraging, super interesting. And I thought you guys might like it. And if you have any great ideas on that date, go ahead and you know put it in comments. I mean, if they're not turned off, who knows? <laughs> but anyway, so uh, I thought that was cool and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.